Forest Lake is located 30 minutes northeast of the Twin Cities. These are the typical forms of urbanization in Forest Lake. The development of major highways has allowed this once rural community of Forest Lake to develop into a commuter city. The growing presence of commercial and residential expansion has led to disastrous effects on the environment, ultimately affecting the biodiversity of the land and the water quality of the lake. Human intervention and a rising presence of the tech industry threatens the identity Forest Lake was built upon. Starting as a destination lakeside community, a central downtown is established with the growing presence of agriculture. New infrastructure is added to the rural areas while downtown becomes commercialized. Suburban developments begin to appear around the education district, with lots for expansion already being prepared. Those lots eventually fill up. Additional developments are established around the lake. New developments are being planned for the upcoming technology boom. If left unchecked, suburban sprawl will overtake what's left of the rural land. Could the downtown area be transformed into a more desirable living community over the expanding suburbs? With all the anticipated developments, what are some measures that could be done that could help preserve the quality of the lake? How could the technology park play a role in preventing suburban growth? These are a few areas of tension that could factor into preventing urbanization in Forest Lake. Newsflash! The Zoom Boom in Tech Park attracts new developments in Forest Lake. Two joint proposals could disrupt this unsustainable development, ecological trails and lakeside plazas. The ecological trail would use a net neutral method that preserves land at the same rate as land is developed for the tech park and surrounding subdivisions. Multiple lakeside plazas would utilize the cap and trade system, taxing industries in proportion to the amount of pollution they cause. These funds could go towards new public spaces and affordable housing. Current trajectories of development without intervention show rapid growth near the tech park. Incorporating a trail system could disrupt the typical pattern of suburbanization. Incentives and a public interest platform could drive landowners to convert part of their properties into the public trail space or natural preservation spaces. At the very least, the trail would connect the suburbs to downtown. With more people contributing, more ecological preservation occurs. Consolidated housing would reap the most benefits. The most successful outcome would replace the suburbs entirely with a new, more environmentally conscious development with higher density housing. As more industries are introduced, the cap and trade system would continuously create more public space. The trails would be informed by the watershed lines of Forest Lake. All properties directly on the line would be incentivized to convert part of their properties to the trail, while adjacent or buffer properties could be transformed into natural public domain. Additionally, Unused properties could be possessed through the City of Lakes Community Land Trust. With future developments, a strict net neutral policy would aim to slow urban development, along with the cap and trade system, which would create new public spaces. Taxing industry's negative effects on the environment directly creates a pool of revenue for the proposal. The ecological trails would connect to the lakeside plazas, creating greater public access to the lake. Affordable housing centered around these plazas would provide alternative housing to the suburbs and reimagine lakeside life in Forest Lake. The scope of the trails would disrupt current and future plans for development by suggesting alternative development strategies and land preservation. Ultimately, the new lakeside plazas would provide community space and greater access to the lake, the most important attraction to the city.